Hello and welcome. Silver is here with quick tips for survival mode of Fallout 4. Well, aimed for the survival mode. However, if you're not playing outside of survival mode, you can take advantage of this as well. Before I get to the it though, note that what you're about to see may be considered an exploit. So don't watch this video if you won't want to hear about an exploit, possible exploit. Also, note that this may get patched out or there might be a mod which fixes this as well. So, something to keep in mind. I'm talking about respawning stuff right here outside of Sanctuary. Sanctuary is over the hill, basically. So these things, mainly the fact there is a gas canister and a used oil can here, which means altogether four oil right here. These will respawn as soon long as you do not enter and clear the mole rat den. However, the small rat den uh, respawn area not only includes all of this out here, but it actually includes this building and anything in it. That means there is gourd here which will respawn to give you extra food. There will be food here and there is Nuka Cola Quantum here. The bottle caps will not respawn by the way. Um, and there is infinite baseball bats if that's your thing. Also, it means the safe upstairs will respawn. In addition to the chem box and all the others. On top of that, it also includes that building over here. You would assume this is part of Concord, but no, this is actually part of the mole rat then. That means this thing here will respawn, this will respawn, and these things, including the safe, and this is a novice locked safe, will respawn. So take note of that. If you want to use this exploit, you're gonna get a whole lot of stuff. Now let's talk about another respawning area right here next to sanctuary which is the concord proper itself so you come into concord you fight these raiders out here and and so forth like well you finish off those raiders and then you get to go into the museum of freedom and all that good stuff however do not enter the museum if you want to take advantage of this firstly these things, the fusion cells, will keep respawning out here if you do not enter the Museum of Freedom. Something to note. And also, all of these buildings, like everything here, the fact that inside here in this church, on this second level of this church, there will always be a weapon and a, some kind of an explosive right here, which I have right now looted, so they aren't present, but they will be respawning. Like, there will be a weapon, a, a leveled weapon. You can get things like hunting rifles and whatnot here, once you are uh, a little higher level, as well as frag grenades and molotovs. Those will respawn. That includes the safes in this area. Isn't that crazy? And they will keep respawning as long as you do not enter these houses. Like this one. And that one over there. And also you do not go into the underground area through either of these tunnels. Concord Civic area. And so... You can very easily take access of respawning first aid boxes, uh, respawning wonder glue, respawning safe if you have the skills to open those, and respawning tool and ammo boxes here. As long as you don't enter any of the actual indoor zones and start clearing those out. This can be a very useful way to get a whole lot of oil, get some weapons, get some ammo, and so on. 
when you start up on the survival mode. So as mentioned at the start, this is an this can be seen as an exploit because the stuff is keeps respawning. They don't respawn instantly. You have to be away for a bit. But for example, uh, you go past Concord, uh, do some other things like to, uh, at the diner or some such, and. Probably by the time you are done there and stop walking back, things here may have respawned. You sleep the night after looting this place. You come down here and you can loot the place again. That sort of stuff. Very easy way to get a whole lot of uh, stuff uh, to build up a sanctuary hill as your own base. Then clear out the uh, Morat den and uh, this place like the indoors area so this stops respawning. Hopefully that was helpful to somebody who wants to take advantage of this uh, respawning loot here. Thank you very very much for watching.